Hey guys, it's Meme and it's time for our Stamp of the Month Club reveal. And this set is for every one of you. If you're a member of this stamp club, there's no way that you won't be able to use everything on this stamp set. It is super cute and is perfect for us stampers. Now, if you're interested in joining our club, and why wouldn't you be? It's $11.99 a month for a new stamp set every month, fresh uh, fresh off the chopping block. <laughs> like, there's never been another one like it that we reveal each month for you guys, and I love them. If you want more information, it's in the description below. We actually have two clubs, this one and a scripture. Look at my fingers. I literally just finished making the samples. Look at that. It's so funny. All right, ready for this? It's adorable. Warning. Look at this. The best part about this is my mom helped me write the sentiments, which I love. Mom is very good with words. She's not a crafter, but she's good with words. Like this one, for example, which she wrote, making this card was a joy to do because I made it especially for you. Now, I want to say this before we get started. I think the best part about this, even if you don't use these sentiments as part of your card design, if you stamp these on the back of the cards, like if every card you made, you stamp this on the back and then signed your name, how cute would that be? Check out this one. Stamps and glue, my good paper too, that's one, and then you can stamp under it or inside the card. That's what this card is made of. Is that so us? It totally is. Then this one says sending crafty hugs, and this one, pretty paper and a dab of glue crafted together to say I'm thinking of you. I love it. I cannot wait to see this done on some really pretty, I didn't do it on this because y'all know I'm not a pink girl or floral girl, but this done on pink with floral and ribbon, that would be so pretty. Then just for fun, we have these cute little crafty um, stamps or images and wait till you see them stamped and used. They're so cute. Okay, for the samples. In classic May May style, you know I had to do a tag. And I'm loving Buffalo Check. So this stamp, let me show you where it comes from so you'll know if you're looking for it. This is from our big Christmas release. And this set, I gotta peel it off here. This set is um, Tag It. And it's this stamp right here. And that's what I used to make the tag. But look, this is pretty paper and a dab of glue crafted together to say I'm thinking of you. I thought this would be cute when we make craft projects. We could make the tag to show that we made the project for them. And then look at the back. How cute is that? I love this little design of the little border. It's so adorable. So there is a tag made with the stamp set. Now look at this one. So this one is me trying to ink blend. I'm not very good at it, <laughs> but I thought I want to try the ink blending life. So here we go. This is done with some oxide ink. I blended it together. I stamped the stamp offset. See what I did? I did the border over here and then the border over here and then the border over here. And then this is stamps and glue, my good paper too. That's what this card is made of. And it is because this is my not your mama's card stock. So it's my good stuff. And on the inside, I said sending crafty hugs. I love how this turned out. But my favorite of all of the samples and the one that probably took me the longest is this guy. I love how this one turned out. This is lunch bag cardstock. And then I stamped it and colored it with Nouveau markers on craft cardstock. I love to color on craft cardstock with markers. And then I took my white pen and I felt like it needed a little pop. It was a little bit drab. So I just white pinned some highlights here and there. And the best part, that is glitter paper around the edge. You see the little shimmer? And then on the inside, if you open this up, it says sending crafty hugs. I love this set. Also, I wanna show you, I wanna tell you this. I'm gonna do a video showing you how to get this continuation stamp. It's the easiest thing ever. All you mask is this one little part of the scissor. I mean, it is the easiest thing ever. Mandy did this on purpose. We wanted to make it where if you wanted to continue the, um, the border out, all you had to do was do it from the scissor. And it's so easy. I'll do a video showing you guys how to do it. I'll probably do that video on my product parade because I'll just show you how to do that. But it's so easy. But I just continued that border all the way across and I love it. Now, you guys already have ideas running through your brain. I already know you. And you're going to do 10 times better than me. And I want to see it. Put it on our website at our customer gallery, which is at maymaymadeit.com. And if you click on the tab or if you hover over the tab that says more, the gallery will pop down and you can add your photo there. And if you add your photo or when you add your photo of your project, you are entered to win a $50 gift card. We give one away every month and I actually have a winner for this month. But as you know, as per usual, I'm filming before um, the contest is over. So the winner will be in the description below. 
So look for your name and see if you won that gift card. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I love this. Oh, and I wanted you to stick around because I have a question for you. So if you have been in the stamp club since our very first year, we used to give an incentive stamp to people after their first year. We stopped doing that and now we give you the 15% off of your purchases. It's just easier for us to keep up with. Plus you get a discount on more things than just one stamp set after being in the club. So it was called Crafty Friends and it's really, really cute. My question is, how would you guys feel if I re-release that now since it's many, many years old? Like, um, I don't think anybody, let's see, it's probably two years ago that we released it for the exclusive set and it was exclusive. And if you tell me, no, I want it to be exclusive. I want to be the only one to have it. That's what we'll do. But I just wanted to see what you thought because it would be really cute to match or to put with this. And if not that, we'll do a coordinating set. That's not exactly the same one. But I really think a lot of you guys would like the Crafty Friend set that would go with this. Tell me your opinion below. I always like to hear what you guys have to say because I never want to do anything that would make you feel like I'm not being fair to you, especially if you earned that stamp set. You may say, no, please don't release it. It's just for us. But if you do, we'll listen to you and see what you have to say. So there you go, guys. That is our Stamp of the Month um, Club reveal. Also, by the way, is this not perfect for back to school? Can you, this is what you do. You make a little tag for the teacher and you use the little the little stamp set. Wouldn't that be so cute? And put it on like um, first day gift or um, I don't know, thank you for being my new teacher gift or something like that. That would be so cute for teachers. It's the perfect time of year for these little images. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye. <music>